Hello and welcome to our software tutorial series, How to Fix and Resend Rejected Returns in the Tax Software. In this tutorial, you will learn how to correct IRS e-file rejection errors and recreate an e-file. Rejected returns sent via the legacy system receive an error reject code and an associated sequence number. The sequence number tells you what entry on a given form caused the reject. The printed reject includes a suggestion from the software on how to fix the error. Rejected returns sent using modernized eFile uses a different system of codes known as business rules to detail the cause of the rejection. According to the business rules, modernized eFile does not use sequence numbers, but specifically describes the exact form, location, and nature of the error. If a reject is received for a return, print the IRS Acknowledgement Report to review the reject code, the explanation, and the suggestions for correcting the return. To correct the rejected return in the software, open the return. From inside a return, you can also view a rejection explanation by pressing the F7 key or opening the Tools menu and selecting Return Status. In the Query Results dialog box, you are able to view the status of the e-file in the e-file information section. For returns that have been rejected by the IRS, click on the Reject tab. The Reject tab displays the IRS reject code and an explanatory message for the first reject. The software indicates in the Forms tree the form containing the error with the red exclamation point. In this example, the second dependent received a last name taxpayer ID number mismatch rejection, so we will need to change the dependent's taxpayer identification number on the main information sheet. When we change this on the main information sheet, the data carries to any forms that the dependent is listed on, but you will see that we still have some red to remove on 1040 page 1. We will click on that page on the forms tree. Press the Control e keyboard combination on our keyboard and then press the F3 key on our keyboard to remove this red. Now that we have cleared the red from this return, we will click the Diagnostics button on the menu bar. As there are no diagnostic errors, we can now click the eFile button. The eFile has now been saved to be resent to the IRS. In this tutorial, we have covered how to correct IRS eFile rejection errors and recreate an eFile. Thank you for viewing this tutorial.